Hello, my name is Richard Manns and I love creating these short form animations. And right now I'm going to show you how I make one of those animations using iClone, Unreal and Cargo. Now it all starts with this motion tracking suit. This is a Perception Neuron 3 suit. And I record it straight into iClone using the Emotion Live plugin. Now once I'm happy with the motion capture, I can review it in iClone. And I usually smooth it off a bit with a filter by unlocking the base motion and using a smooth filter in the graph editor just to get rid of any little jittering that might be there. And um, then on an animation layer above that we can start fixing up little issues like the hand moving through the pants and the um, shape of the hand we can sort of easily change. And um, then we added Digital Soul. Now Digital Soul is a pack for iClone from Real Illusion that you've got subtle facial expressions and it really helps bring the performance to life. At this point I add a little dislike that kind of matches the, the motion capture. And on our other version of the character we have a, um, a little bit of a dis disagree look and it sort of brings the character to life straight away. And now I start working on the crowds. At first it seemed a bit random, these people walking everywhere. So I split the crowd into two and had so I could get a bit of a flow on the footpath of, of the characters walking one way or the other. But near the end of the simulation they start to bunch up near the end of the path. So instead I started off by bunching them at the end of the path and then ran the simulation. So at the time I need to take the shot, they were walking nicely into position. And that seemed to work out better for me. But it's so cool being able to iterate with crowds now, which wouldn't be possible without this new software. And um, yeah, often the distance we need just a little bit extra crowd, but it doesn't matter too much how they're performing because they're off in the distance. Now once I'm happy with the crowd and the performances, I can easily move it all through to Unreal Engine using the Unreal Live Link that's an iClone. And I start working on my camera angles and the shots and just lock down the shots. And once I'm happy with all the shots, I can just grab the whole crowd because it's already packaged into a sequence when I import it from iClone and drop the whole thing in. And then we just start dressing the whole thing up with assets from Cargo, which is a uh, plugin from Kitbash 3D. And I can pretty much just find just about anything I'm looking for to fill in the shots and bring them to life huge assemblies of buildings, cars, whatever you're after. And here you go, see it's all really starting to to look more like a street. <laughs> and you could even duplicate assets which you've already imported and um, this is the final shot. Now if we move the camera outside from the final shots You'll see it really doesn't look like much, but it doesn't matter because no one's going to see any of that. You just need to play to the camera once you've figured out where your cameras go. So thanks for watching. I'll leave you now with the final short. And if you like what you see, please check out more of my work. Cheers.